today, me, Harry and Lola are on our way to Hastings, which is a little town located on the southeast coast of England. Have you been to Hastings before? When I was like a kid, yeah. Okay. Well, I've never been and Lola, you've never been as well, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're just on our way there. It's going to take us about an hour and a half and... Um, and yeah, just going to be interesting to see what it's like there. And I'm also going to be vlogging this because me, Harry and Lola are going to be visiting some charity shops and some vintage shops. So we've done a bit of research and we've like written down some of the places that we'd like to visit. Yeah, I'm going to visit them and I'm going to take some videos to show you guys what Hastings is like and what sort of charity shops there are, there is around there. <laughs> what sort of charity shops there is there? No. Oh! What sort of charity shops there are there? Oh no! Anyway, but also let's just appreciate my clothing today. So, everything I'm wearing is pretty much second hand apart from like my socks and knickers and bra. <laughs> Too much detail. <laughs> so, I got this hat from Thailand. This was second hand from this like second hand market that I also used to sell at in um, Gad Phalang. So I'll link that video here. I bought this for let's say 50p transferred into English money. And then I got this jumper at the Sutton Carbu. I paid a quid for it. And these jeans, I bought these from a charity shop up north. I actually bought them for Harry. They're Levi's. I paid a tenner for them, but they're too small for Harry, so they're mine now. <laughs> and also, I've got some Adidas Superstars. I bought them from the Sutton Car Boot as well. I paid two pounds for them. They're in pretty good condition. Um, perfect size. Superstars aren't really in fashion anymore, but you know what? Okay. I don't know. See they... everyone wearing them. Do they? Okay, so superstars are still in fashion, but not as in fashion as maybe a couple years ago. Because I don't know if you guys remember when everyone had those superstars that were white with the black stripes on. Like, that was like the thing. I even had a pair of them. But that was like back in 2016 or something. Pretty much everything I'm wearing is secondhand. And you know what? It's alright, innit? So I just want to share that you don't need everything brand new. I don't look that bad, do I? So. <laughs> Yeah, time to do some more thrifting and some more secondhand bargain hunting and I'm going to share our adventure with you guys. So stay tuned. parking on this road? It's better be because I ain't paying. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll just have to find out when we when we get back. But I'm pretty sure it's free parking. None of the cars have got any like Should parking ticket things on them. Should huh? we see if she needs a wee while we're there? Oh, a little wee wee. doing a voiceover for these bits <laughs> so I hope you guys like this so the first charity shop that I went in was called Age UK I went in and Harry and Lola waited outside and I saw a dog inside and I asked if Lola could go in as well and they allowed her the staff there were really friendly and welcoming there were loads of clothes to choose from but in the end I didn't end up getting anything here but it's well worth a pop into if you guys are about and check out this cool typewriter thing outside it was 50 quid I didn't get it in the end but like I don't know it just looked quite cool <laughs> The second charity shop I visited was just across the road. It was called Bernardo's, which is a British charity shop supporting the care for vulnerable children. I love that the charity shop was all colour coordinated and also Lola was allowed inside this one too. I spotted this Emma Bridgewater mug for two quid, which looked pretty cute, so I decided to buy it. And look how young Adam Sandler looks in this CD. Oh my God. <laughs> we then walked a little further. I think I actually cried when I first watched it. Oh, really? Yeah. 
this charity shop helps support families on low income and provide free confidential advice to those in need. This shop was really cute and quite small inside and yet again Lola was allowed in and she got fed quite a few biscuits in there. <laughs> We're just making our way back to the car now. Um, it was really nice because all three of the charity shops that we popped into, dogs were allowed in, all three of them, so Lola was able to join in. And she just kept getting treats in every single charity shop she popped into. Harry got a book and then we got this little dog bowl for Lola. Just casually sitting there. So Oxfam and the British Heart Foundation are located right next to each other on the high street. Again, lots and lots of clothes in here, but I didn't really find anything I wanted. Like, look at all those shoes, <laughs> but nothing. I'm probably not looking hard enough. But anyway, I made my way next door to the British Heart Foundation. Don't forget to sanitize your hands, guys. I don't even know why I'm saying that. Like, you guys all know this already. I saw this quirky looking jacket, which looked quite cool. But when I looked at the price, it was 50 quid. So wasn't prepared to spend that much on that. Eee! And yet again, lots and lots of shoes. And I thought this red jumper looked quite nice and cozy for the winter. But for £10.99, I wasn't in love with it enough to pay that price. If any of you guys that work at charity shops are watching this maybe could you lower your prices for us please <laughs> So the next day we visited Sivia's auction rooms in Bex Hill. There's also a little cafe room there as well if you guys fancy a cup of tea. <laughs> they had loads of interesting stuff in there. The staff were really friendly and also Lola was allowed inside as well. <laughs> Some pretty flowers and yeah, E.T. was there chilling out. £525 he was. Yeah. <laughs> that boy mannequin on the side there like scared me and I'm pretty sure he scared Lola as well. Like, doesn't he just look a little bit creepy? <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to be there in the dark, you know? <laughs> and I felt like recording this Duracell bunny as I kind of feel like I had one of these when I was a kid. Did you guys or maybe my parents bought me weird toys? <laughs> then we went upstairs and I believe this place does an auction every month and that's some of their stuff down there. Overall, very interesting place and also very easy to get to from. Hastings. In Hastings we also visited a few vintage shops. One of my favourites was Dandy Vintage. There was loads of cool vintage clothing like check out these cool cowboy boots. Yeehaw! And they also had bikes in there too. And I quite like this 1980s Adidas hoodie and there was another one behind it. And also this Wrangler jacket looked pretty cool. But I've got too many denim jackets. Loads of dungarees to choose from. To be honest, I'm not sure if I'm even good at narrating this as I just keep like stating the obvious, but lots of jackets and oh yeah, there was like this hippie festival area as well. And lastly, we visited Teddy Tinkers. In here, they had loads of fancy dress costumes, antiques, records, jewelry, old postcards. I think I saw like a box of buttons and vintage sewing items, just all sorts. Like, look at these vintage doll heads. And I think these are like the hair pieces for them here. I don't know. And then there was an extra room to go into with all the fancy dress and Halloween clothing, etc. Some vintage bake like telephones and a plastic four folding ruler. <laughs> Well, hello there. So I'm up north right now and to be honest, it's been quite a long and tiring move because the north is not very close to the south at all. But I am finally here. I thought I'd film this here because this is like my new setup that I've got behind me. So when I'm taking pictures to put online, like selling my stuff, I've got this backdrop here. And I'll link below the backdrop that I use on Amazon if you guys are interested in that. And of course it's quite cold right now, so I've got like my little fleece on and then like a turtleneck underneath. Um, I bought this fleece for 50p at the Apps Court Farm car boot. Really like it, it's so cozy. But anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna talk about Hastings. So I had a lovely time at Hastings. There were so, so many vintage and antique stalls around there. So if you guys are into like antiques and stuff, I'd highly suggest visiting Hastings for a few days because I think I would definitely go back there. I'm sorry to say I don't have a haul for you guys because the only thing I bought was the Emma Bridgewater mug. Another reason why I didn't really buy much stuff is because I was moving up north and I didn't want to get loads of stuff just to bring all the way here, especially that I only have like 
like a tiny little Yaris. But overall, I hope my video gives you a little bit of an idea of what it's like charity shopping in Hastings. I know there's a few other charity shops around there, but those were the ones that we managed to go to for the day. And also the antique and vintage shops around there. I hope that gives you an idea of what those are like as well. But I'm really happy to be up north right now. I feel like a big relief just to finally like get here. Um, by the way, I'm sat on this like 1860s Victorian gentleman's armchair, I think it's called, and it's so cool, like, so I feel like, I feel like a queen sat on this, so, I don't know, I feel posh. <laughs> and also, in my little setup, I'll show you guys that I've got a ghetto blaster. So it's a Panasonic Ghetto Blaster, it plays cassettes and CDs and of course it's got the radio as well. So when I'm working here, I'm going to be having my Ghetto Blaster on and listening to the radio. And yeah, I think you can see a few furniture there, some antiques and stuff. and. I don't know what you can see over there, but this is my new setup. So I thought I'd show you guys this as well because I'm really excited to start working in this room. And yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. So all in all, thank you for watching my video. And like I said, I hope it gave you an idea of what Hastings is like. And please give me a like if you like the video and give me a subscribe if you wanna see any more. Um, from now on, I think I'll be doing more stuff up north. So yeah, give me a subscribe if you wanna see more stuff up north. And I'll catch you guys in my next video video. See you later. Bye. Check your car, make sure there's no parking ticket. Why? What's that? That's from Sutton Car Boot. No parking ticket. <laughs> Which was the Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain? Oh my